What's up, guys? Welcome to MMA Flicks and Chill. Uh, I have not seen this footage yet. I caught a glimpse of it and I stopped it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video of this. So this is the footage of Drunk John Jones. And we're just going to jump into it. And I will stop the video, though, to commentate on it rather than speak over it. So that way you still get to see the whole thing. But let's just check this out. This is interesting because when I heard his interaction with this comedian, he is messed up. And it's just kind of a funny situation to think about because this comedian, I I, I wish I knew the comedian's name. I probably should have researched this, before, but I got excited and I jumped on. I jumped on to record. So I just wonder if he knew who John Jones was. He had to have, right? And um, well, let's just jump into it. Right. <laughs> so wait, are, are you, you're an audience member, right? Uh huh. You're a little drunk, I assume. Um, un poquito. Un poquito. <laughs> I would say is. I want your hair shit. I want a good white Joe. Like uh, I want. want I want a white, white guy joke? to give me the best. Well, I'll do, I'll go. He said, "I want a good white joke." John Jones says, "I want a good white joke." <laughs> oh boy. Every bottle to eat. So I'm a good white joke. I want my friends to give me the water. Hey, guys, get it. Give it to him for a good black joke. Huh? I was saying, guys, give it to him for a good black joke. Give it to yes, everybody, give it to me right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Just blackout drunk. Well, well, my my kitty over here just just was just the resource of everything. That is awesome. Um, poquito. My kitty over here is just like the source of everything that's awesome. Or my Paquito over here, like my little bit. I don't really know what he's saying there. Hmm. Poquito. I would say is I want your hair shit. I want a good white Joe. Like uh, I want. I want a white Joe. Did it rewind? Well, I'll do. I'll go rebuttal to it's eat. So I'm a good white Joe. I want my friends to give me a good. Hey. Hey. Good. Give it to him. Give it to him for a good black Joe. Huh? I was huh? saying, guys, give it to him for a good black joke. Give it to yes, everybody, give it to me right now. Yeah. <laughs> Just blackout drunk. Oh, everyone, give it to him for a good butt joke. Oh well, well, my my kitty over here is just just was just the resource of everything. That is awesome. Are you sure this is alcohol or is it? <laughs> <laughs> are, are we, you know, huh? I know you guys have been funny so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so I, I've done stand-up before, and I'll tell you this. You hear of hecklers. You think of hecklers as somebody who's, like, making fun of the comedian, but comedians don't even consider – they do – that is, that's, like, the pinnacle of heckling. But they don't – They'll even consider, like, if you talk to them at all during their set, that's a heckle. Like, even if you're just, like, ask them a question, like, well, what do you think about this? That's heckling them. Because a comedian has their jokes and the flow all worked out in their mind, right? And so they want to focus on that. And when people talk, it, it interrupts that flow for some of them. So... A lot of people hate that. A lot of comedians hate that. So this guy is dealing with John Jones doing that. I appreciate the person who's drunk out of their senses thinking we're all funny. That's great. Everybody here will give you a hug on your way. I'm more like having to put my finger in your bubble. Oh. Okay. I don't know if you guys just caught that, but he said, Oh boy. He said, out of everyone being, out of everyone in here, the, the drunkest guy is, isn't laughing at my jokes. So everybody needs to give this guy a hug. 
the comedian's talking about giving jo everybody needs to give John Jones a hug before they leave. And John Jones says, I'm thinking more about putting my finger in your butthole. So that's where we are. He just said it again. He goes, I, 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 I'll put my finger in your butthole. Like a question. Very important. Yeah, you're talking about finger in your balls? Finger in the butthole. Oh, you know, finger in the butthole. A whole hole. black finger in the butthole. He said a whole black finger in the butthole. Is that how they do it in Rochester? <laughs> That's how they get down. That's the way we say I love you. What have you, what have you been drinking? He said, that's the way we say I love you. At least John Jones is being like a happy drunk right now. So I don't know where this is going, but at least he's being a happy drunk. Like, I have put out like a whole finger in your black finger in your butthole. Okay. Tonight. Oh, this is my stuff. <laughs> that is, oh my myself, no. myself is the only answer. That's uh, you know. I'm a whole bowl. Hell oh, yeah, dude! Come on, let's go. Let's go! Let's go! Come on. Where do you want to go? We're going six points. You're debating. You're debating. You're thinking about it. You're like, how wait, am wait, I going to yeah, use this minute in a comic book? You can do it. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I, I'm the only black guy here. Let's go to six. Oh, no, you're right. No, no, hey, 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 Ugh. All right, I'm cooking chicken. I had to flip that shit. All right, so you got John Jones in the audience heckling you, not even not even just like talking with you, but kind of dominating the room and and saying you're not funny while not giving you the chance to be funny. But what John Jones wanted him to do is improvise, and he wanted him to. It, it's kind of odd, actually, because he wants he was trying to bait him into saying racial jokes, like say some white jokes. I'm the only black guy in here. Say some white jokes. It's almost a weird baiting, like kind of bullying him. So I'm wondering if the comedian knows that he had to know that that was John Jones. And here John Jones is not only like completely not letting him do his set, but kind of baiting him into doing racial jokes. So if he does a white joke, makes fun of white people, John Jones all of a sudden is going to be like, well, let's do a black joke. You know, I'm going to do a black joke. And the comedian's like, uh, so how much have you had to drink tonight? And uh, John Jones is like, I just uh, put my finger in your, a big old black finger in your butt, and the, that'll be a joke. And, and the guy's like, wait, uh, it's like John Jones went into like prison mode. He's like saying it lighthearted, but he's kind of baiting him into a conversation that's not going to end well. And then you have a drunk John Jones that could easily get offended. And the energy of the room could change very quickly, if you know what I mean. And then the jokes are no longer funny. And this could have ended a lot differently. Yeah. Think about that. Anyway, I just wanted to watch that video with you guys. I haven't posted anything on the channel in a while wanted to post something on the channel, tell me what you think and comment and make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel, guys. Come on. Help me out. Subscribe to the channel. Let's watch videos together. MMA flicks and chill as buddies.
global buddies all over the world, everybody that has access to YouTube and loves MMA and UFC and just MMA culture, subscribe, hang out with me, and ring the bell. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flex and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring